Hello friends, retargeting. Retargeting is a self-informatory word to target the main target again and again so that you can achieve the organization goal or of your shop, business, anything. So hello, I am your digital mentor Ankit in Anno Creations. Today we are going to start this topic. So before start, you need to just, just, we are requesting you, you haven't subscribed the channel yet, just subscribe it and press the bell icon with all notifications set so that you can get all my current videos online with the notification area. Like this video right now so that you cannot forget it. Let's get started. e-commerce is going on. Did you know your e-commerce website can track shopper behavior and respond with dynamic advertising and that this can be used to bring visitors back to your shop even after they have left to visit other sites. This is called product retargeting. Now let's explore what is it, how it works and tips for running your own successful retargeting campaigns. We have all browsed an online shop put a product in our shopping cart and then for whatever the reasons are decided not to buy it think of the last time you did this did you then suddenly start seeing ads for that product you didn't buy on other sites around the web yeah well that's what we call retargeting the way a shopper behaves on an e-commerce site can tell the shop owner a lot about which products they are interested in and even what they were on the verge of buying. This is very useful information for your business to generate because it allows you to create very specific advertisement aimed people who have shown interest in certain products. That's what product targeting or remarketing is all about. Let's see, someone is shopping online for bespoke furniture. They visit your e-commerce site and fall in love with the beautiful coffee table you are offering. But halfway through the checkout process, they decide to hold off and see if another shop had an any special first. Luckily, while they were browsing your online furniture store, you were using a product retargeting solution. This is a small bit of code placed on the pages of your website. This code tracks which products on that page is a shopper is interested in. Of course, this tracking code uses anonymous methods. No personal information is exchanged. But what has happened is that your website track a behavior. It now knows that the shopper wanted that coffee table and they didn't actually buy it. That online shopping behavior is great information for you as an advertiser. Now you can use this information to take action. This is where product retargeting solutions come into play. There are a number of product retargeting options out there. All of them will allow you to collect information and then target audience with customized ads based on your that information so let's say the shopper leaves your furniture shop and clicks over to a new website they are reading an article and off on the right of the page what do they see yes your digital ad with an image of the coffee table they were just looking at you may even include a 20 percent discount here too that incentive might be just enough to persuade them to make the purchase after all that's basically product retargeting. There are many services available like Google, AdWords, Creative. The services share some basic functions. So let's talk a bit more about that. It starts with that bit of code we mentioned that tracks shoppers interaction. This information is then sent to your website and retargeting services. As an advertiser, you can go to your product retargeting services and set up rules and parameters as well. So when a person browsing your site meets those parameters, the service will then start retargeting them with advertisement over one or more of the internet advertising networks. 
Since the service knows exactly which product your shopper was interested in, those advertisements can be very specific and dynamic. Now, let's look at the few guidelines for running this kind of campaigns. First, you don't always have to offer a discount right now, right here. While in the early example, we consider price as a reason the shopper did not buy in reality, there are lots of reasons people have leave website without making a purchase. And if you always offer a discount, you could be selling yourself short. Next, it's good to know when to stop showing these ads. It's certainly possible that the visitor found the same product somewhere else and bought it or simply changed their mind and is not going to buy it anymore. At any price, most retargeting solutions allow you to set limits and experiment with just how many times you shall show the same ad to the same person and for long. As with any advertising campaign, it's important to measure and optimize the performance of your product retargeting campaigns of the time. This means tracking conversion rates, testing new types of ads, tweaking your parameters and using analytics to manage these campaigns as well. Product retargeting can be a great way to re-engage visitors that might have otherwise not returned. Knowing how it works, how to do it and how to optimize it over the time can make these campaigns a great addition to your digital marketing plan as well. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button of this video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.